we're seeing uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Faith No More, and Royal Crescent Mob in, wow. at the Ritz okay. in New York. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I want to be at that concert. This was like, uh, you know, before the Red Hot Chili Peppers were the Red Hot Chili Peppers we know of today. Yes. This which is, is to say, you know, awful. not as good. Look, I'm here in Los Angeles. I'm here in Los Angeles. They might run me out of town if I say anything bad about the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've never seen a place more defensive of their hometown. Imagine if you were in, in New York and you said, hey, the Ramones suck. People go like, okay, that's, that's, you're, you're entitled to that opinion. Here you're supposed to accept that the Red Hot Chili Peppers are awesome. And even if you thought they sucked, you're supposed to have made your peace with it to finally have realized, eh, they're not so bad. Like, you're supposed to yeah. have wrapped your head around it by this point. I just, at this point, I just do what I did when I was a kid, and I just liked a guitar. I just tune out. I just listen to John Frusciante. That's what I, that's how, that would be my tip. Yeah. My friend, my friend Eric, a very talented artist who... It's going to have a show coming up in New York. We'll talk more about that. Eric White. He brilliantly has made these Red Hot Chili. He takes a Red Hot Chili Peppers album and has Anthony Keyes removed from it. So you're listening to this band, which is a killer band. Flea yeah. on bass, John Frusciante on guitar, Chad Smith on drums. That's an amazing band. I think I would argue that they would be a bigger band if they released the albums. At least a bigger band with me and and you and people with with taste. several other people. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that I, we would be. Yeah, and it's great. The stuff is honestly impressive because you hear the musicianship without that uh, lunkhead going <laughs> over the top. Now, what happens so if you like tomorrow? Yeah, you're at a coffee shop, mm -hmm. and Anthony Kiedis walks in, and he's like, "Tom, yeah, I just want to say, I was a huge fan." Okay, until I would, last night's show. You know what I would say to him? You've polluted the world long enough. You don't <laughs> get any grace. There will be no grace for you. I, first of all, I'll say to him. Take the bowler hat off. You're not Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> he walks around with this bowler hat on now. Really? He, oh, yeah. Here, I'm going to pull. Can I have a picture? I took a picture of a billboard of a because the Red Hot Chili Peppers are doing a concert at a casino. And I saw the billboard and I was like, you got to be kidding me with this one. Here we go. I'm going to send it to. I'll send it to Brett, and then you, Brett, if you could, let's see, I'll send it to the, to the Brett, to, I'm going to send it to the group right now of a Red Hot Chili Pepper thing, and Anthony Kiedis in it, you'd think he was in some sort of vaudeville witness relocation uh, program. <laughs> he's, it looks like he's hiding in the 20s. Oh God, that's, that's, uh, there he is with the hat on. Wait till you see the oh, picture in this is, promo yeah. thing. He did yeah, the photo I arrive. Saw, I just saw it. Yeah. Yeah. No, he disturbing. Yeah. Yeah, but Red Hot Chili. So you wanted to go to this Red Hot Chili Pepper show. Well, I wanted to see Royal Crescent Mob and sure. Faith No More. Chuck Mosley was still the singer. Yeah. So they were doing We a, Care a lot at that point. Yes. And not, uh, they were not the the other dude, uh, Bung, Mr. Bungle guy. What's his Mike name? Mike Patton. Mike Patton. Yeah. So, it was that when you felt the the pecking order of things in your life start to shift a little bit, where you're just like, mm, maybe hockey's not top of yeah, the list. Yeah, I was anymore. like, well, I don't know. Everyone, you know, my teammates are really excited, and I, I was like, well, I would be more excited to be. They were excited about whoever were, you know, playing the game. And I was like, I, I just want to be at that concert. Yeah. 
And I want to say about that hat, though, the bowler. This is that hat. <laughs> if I can back it up, that, you know, and any of those kind of hats, like mini fedoras and stuff, I, there has to be a moment. And this is what's, aside from the way they look, is when the wearer of the hat, you know, at some point, put it on in front of a mirror and, and thought to themselves, like, oh, this looks really cute. Yeah. And well, that's even more disturbing than the hat itself to me. Yeah. Well, Dave, look at that picture on the screen. Yeah, this is... This is like a straight-to-video version of the usual suspects. <laughs> <laughs> and because each one... This is like the young ones is what... This is like the American young ones. You have John <laughs> Frusciante's like Neil. You've got... It is. Yeah. Uh, uh, Chad Smith is Mike. Flea oh would be gosh. Rick. <laughs> look at that. But well, look at that hat. He's wearing a stovepipe hat, white sunglasses, and then he has a Zappa uh, soul patch and m mustache. Yeah, I don't get yeah, it. It's all very wrong. Yeah. But yeah, so the whole the picture gets worse as you go to the, the left. Yes, as you go left, it's like it's really like one of those things that charts the evolution of man, and it's like <laughs> it's like you start at you started Anthony Keys, he's like the Cro Magnon hunched over, and then <laughs> then you end with Chad Smith. Or actually, maybe you go back down a little bit because you you end with top of the pyramid is John Frusciante. Then maybe it starts to peak and descend again yeah. with Chad Smith. And yes. every, everybody's always like, oh, Flea's a good guy. I'm sure he's a great guy. He would be wildly amazing to talk to and and the, the things he's done musically and the people he knows. Amazing. One, one guy messing that whole thing up. <laughs> one guy clogging it's up the works. 